Today we are going to be reviewing some instruments. I have been asked by various companies if I would be willing to review certain products. So I'm going to start once a week, I think on a Friday, we're going to have a weekly gear review where it'll just be a short four or five minute long video where I will review different products but I'd like to apply them to the piano, the keyboard, and what I'm doing, whether it's technological gear that I'm using, maybe some speakers or keyboards, or musical instruments as well. So I'm excited to review three recorders today that I'm going to apply to how I like to use recorders or other instruments, guitars, you know, I have a few guitars, bass guitars, drums, drum pads, and I'm going to start sharing how I like to use these in my own teaching, use these in composing and creating music of my own, and how you can start to use these products in your own teaching or as you compose music of your own as well. Let's get into this and I'm going to share with you how I use recorders to compose music, but I'm going to review three recorders that I've purchased that I really enjoy the sound quality. Let's get into this. So I love to have a lot of different instruments. If you could view all the different instruments I have in this room alone, we have a piano, we have drums, we have a drum set, we have guitars, we have a bass guitar, we have an accordion, banjo, ukulele. I, I like instruments, but I like to use other instruments to help me as I'm composing at the piano. So, I love recorders. And I'm going to review three separate recorders that I have here, and I'm going to explain about each of these, and then I will have a link below where you can actually purchase these. But these two recorders are the Honer brand recorders, and I have a Honer accordion over there, and they have a great sound. This is pear wood right here, but each of these, let me play this to give you an example of how this sounds. So this is kind of a light wood right here. Many times when I am composing something at the piano, I like to take and play a recorder, or if I'm teaching piano students, I will have them try to play by ear, where I will take maybe the first five notes, C, D, E, F, G, and then I will have them try to copy what I play. So it's helping to develop their ear, where I may play C, G, F, E, And then I would have them play along. Now, this also helps me as I am composing. This, this has a beautiful sound. I love this, and it's not too terribly expensive. It's around $40 to $50. You may be able to find some of these for $25, but it, it has a beautiful, rich sound. Now, listen to this one as well same brand, slightly different wood, and finish. This is the pear wood. So this has almost a richer sound as it gets louder, and it actually has more volume than that one even. Many times I like to go up to the higher registers just to hear how they sound. This is a great great honer recorder and I will have a link below where you can get this but if I'm composing something I will sometimes play just a few notes to give me an idea so if I were to play this and I'm going to put this off to the side over here 
if I were to play, maybe I'll start and I'll just play something. So I'm, I'm playing, mimicking on the piano what I'm playing with the recorder. Now I went up to the B flat, I can go up to the B flat, I'm in the key of F major. And then I could just start to compose and create. So it really helps for me personally to play around. Now this is a different model and different brand. This is Esther and E A S T A R and it has a pretty sound as well. So this has a really rich sound as well. It may not have as, uh, as much depth, I think, as the other ones. This is much less than the other ones. It actually comes with this nice case as well that you can use. And it has some instructions and cleaning instruments. But that is a really nice recorder. So I think any of these three recorders are perfect to use. As a piano teacher, if you are trying to teach ear training, use a recorder. If you are trying to compose music of your own, sit down and just play around with the quarter and it will give you ideas. You can start just G-A-B. Now, I would probably add the F sharp because it sounds like I'm trying to go into F sharp there. So what I would probably do is just pretend like I'm in the key of G.
it's fun to take instruments like the recorder, something so simple as a recorder, and you can use it to inspire you, to help you be more creative, to help you teach piano lessons, to help you compose music of your own. So try to take something as simple as playing the recorder and create something similar to what I just created. I actually just composed that on the spot just based off of what I was playing with the recorder. So it's fun where a simple recorder can take you. But if you are a manufacturer and you have recorders or ukuleles, guitars, bass guitars, accordions, whatever instrument, I play a few instruments and I've been asked to start reviewing a lot of instruments to help music teachers and musicians around the world find out what these instruments can do, what their strengths are, maybe what their weaknesses are, and review these products and share them with others. So if you are a manufacturer, I'd love to receive any products that I can review on my YouTube channel. But feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Best way to reach out is with my email, Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N at musicmotivation Dot com. I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel, but I would also love to have you leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to have me review, either products or what concepts you would like to learn. Every week I come out with brand new weekly video lessons where I teach music theory the fun way, where I teach you scales and chords and intervals, and I help you learn how you can take that theory, I refer to it as theory therapy, and you can start to improvise. I refer to it as innovative improvisation. You can start to create and compose music of your own. So let me know what you would like to learn, and I would love to create a video and share it here on YouTube. You can also learn more about my Essential Piano Exercise course at EssentialPianoExercises.com. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you guys.